Hi, this is Shadi. Today I have just shared uh, amazing news with you on the uh, community uh, post. Uh, Judo Highlight also made a video uh, regarding this topic. He said the Kodokan will be reinstating. Uh, I have the article from Esprit du Judo, which is a very reputable uh, magazine here in France. Uh, Judo Highlight actually left a key detail uh, regarding this, I will be discussing it uh, with you as well. Now, is it confirmed that it's going to be also the case for us here outside of Japan? We don't know, but uh, the thing is, they always had things that we did not have. For example, in the uh, Kohaku Shiai, they had uh, their types of rules. There's Yuko uh, in the All Japan Judo Championships. Uh, there is uh, other things that are either uh, present or different. So. We don't fully know. However, a huge change like this, uh, I hope it puts enough pressure because uh, it's really big. So here, here it is. It's a very small article. I'll explain it to you. It says that starting from April in 2025 for the All Japan, you can go for the legs attacking or defending. Uh, however, it is done on two conditions. The first one being engaged in the Kumikata so the gripping of the upper body and your upright and you're engaged in the gripping and the second one which is very important and that is only one arm can go for the legs and that's something i've uh, talked about remember uh, when i said this uh, two years ago just one hand you're only allowed one hand on the legs because you can first of all you cannot uh, grab some I'm sorry throw someone with only one hand on their leg it's just impossible or unless you're super strong so the other hand should be engaged with the upper body or the belt or something. So you're going to be left with kataguruma, uh, skuinage or teguruma, which makes, which are signature judo throws. They're not wrestling throws with the jacket and everything that's happening. Someone's trying to go deep down your back. You scoop Idea. them up. I kind of like that. I kind of yeah. like that. That's and then if it fails, you know, you have your, your uh, um, kuchiki tawoshi, you know, you have, okay, kochigari, then picking up the ankle or just picking the ankle. But one hand on the, the legs, it would eliminate the shooting and the passive, you know, people who do not want to engage and are poor. And using leg grips as a poor excuse to say, you know, as a way to, you know, not engage in the gripping because they're weak at it. And also you would bring back solely the signature throws of judo that involves the leg grip. That's it. It will solve everything. Yeah, you know, I kind of, I, I like, I like that. That's kind of good. Uh, that's so things like these, of course, are not uh, allowed. And for now, I think it's for the sake of, you know, negative judo or people who do not want to engage uh, in gripping, uh, etc. One fight comes to mind is the 2008 Olympics between Naidan and Suzuki. It was just, uh, I cannot get over just how bad it was. And just avoiding the grips. Anytime Suzuki grips him, just drops for a very obvious false attacks and just try to go for the legs so at least for now they want to avoid these types of things and that's very understandable however just think of everything else that's going to come back te guruma kata guruma massive scoops and just standing up and going down now i don't know about the somersaults with kata guruma that also has to be you know uh looked into now again this is only Japan, but I don't know if it's going to be for the Western world, but I really hope so. But uh, for now, at least, Morote Gari, something like this, is not allowed. Um, maybe in combinations, I would uh, appreciate to see it. But, of course, just diving, at least for now, they want to avoid it. They want to keep uh, the athletes engaging in the grips with the upright posture. And it's totally understandable. However, this is a huge, huge win. And... If, let's say, the IJF stays where it is, it's going to create at least a massive split between Japan and the IJF. So this is uh, great. I'm really excited. So uh, if you have anything to add, let me know down below. Uh, check out my book, uh, The Origins and History of Judo. And I hope you enjoyed this great news. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.